Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki vlog. And this is our Maki gift guide. So let's go. You might notice this change of scenery. We are in our brand new home in San Diego, which means we don't have any money for presents, but we're gonna vicariously live through everyone else and enjoy the holiday season. So if you are buying presents for someone who loves the Maki, who has a Maki, or maybe it's just you and you wanna get presents for yourself, there are tons of things that we've seen that we particularly like. Ooh, could I, could I get a dog as a present? No. No, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have friends with Makis who have amazing stuff on them, super tricked out. So this video is going to be our list of a couple of our favorite things. The first thing is something that we had on OG Lucifer. It's the biggest thing that I want to do immediately, and that is a matte screen protector for the giant screen, 15.5 inch screen. It is a fingerprint magnet. As you can see, fingerprints all over it. The moment that we switched to the matte screen protector um, last year was from the OCD plug. We love that one. It's really easy to install if you don't use too much soap, which I use. We will link to our video installing it. It's a fantastic um, unit, but we're actually going to try a different one this time because we feel like we should. We should try something different. So there's one by Spigen that we're going to be trying. And I don't know about you guys, but my phone case is Spigen. Um, I've had screen protectors that are spy again for watches and everything like that. So we're really interested to try that one. We haven't tried it yet, but they're super reputable. So we'll link to both the OCD plug and to the spy again ones. And, um, we'll give that a shot on new Lucifer. <laughs> and you don't need to think of it as a screen protector, but more just to help with some of the fingerprints that get on the screen. Uh, it is a matte finish on most of the screen protectors are, that are out there. So, it changes the look of the screen slightly, but after like a, a couple of days, I didn't even sort of think about the difference. I just really enjoy that there's no fingerprints in my way. Yeah, so some people don't love how it changes the screen. So definitely uh, see if that's something that appeals to you or, or look at the videos and the video that we shared. I think it's lovely and we actually ended up putting it on the dash screen as well, the instrument cluster. I really like that too. It's not like you touch it though, but it was just like a consistent Consistency, yep. yeah. Speaking of things to protect your vehicle, there is a wrap to protect the inside of the door. I don't know if you're like me, I obviously have a fake leg. <laughs> so I kick the door a lot if I can't open the door fully. And even if I can, sometimes I kick the door, I'm getting in and I'm getting out. So there is a protector to put on the base layer of the door there that I really, really, really wanna get because then I won't feel bad about it. Like they're totally like foot squidges across it right now. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of wraps and protections, we just got these in the mail. We're going to do a video on these and install these. And if you don't know what they are, of course you don't, because it's just a box. <laughs> but this one is uh, a PPF type protection for the B and the C pillars, which are these back here. And this one protects the rocker panel. So where we have sort of like piano black, it protects that. And some of the, the uh, the painted part that's below the Maki uh, symbol that's down there or logo. They, this company is really cool. Uh, I spoke to the owner briefly and it's a mom and pop basically. It's a small business. They were passionate about protecting their EV, their Tesla, and they're expanding to other EVs now. And it's not just these pieces. These are the two that we're going to review and, and check out but they are making parts for like protecting the whole front end of your Mach-E um, and various other little components. So check out T-Wraps. I'll put a link down below so that you can find out more about them. Honorable mention for this carbon fiber protector that we got for the center console. You can actually get this for various bits of piano black in the vehicle, like the steering wheel or whatever. This is the matte carbon fiber. You can also get it in glass. I think it actually looked really good. I just popped it in and didn't stick it in. As you can see, there's like a sticky portion. I didn't really want to commit to that right now when I didn't have that much time, but it looks really good. And if you want to go a little bit creative, like we have the, the GT, let me see where I'm reaching. Uh, so it has the, the black nose basically, but you can get your own like custom wrap 
on your premium or California Route 1 or Select that has a similar look to the GT. And our friend Marlene, she has she got hers done and she had a, a professional to do the install, but you can actually get some of these and do the install yourself. And it's more difficult than putting on a screen protector, uh, than putting on a screen protector on your mobile phone. But if you've done that, you sort of know that's sort of what the experience is like. It's just a little bit more complicated because it's a slightly curved surface. No matter where you look on this car, it's, it's curvy. But it's not too difficult. If you just watch some of our videos or other people's videos, you can do it too. And you just made me think, because you were saying like, people with other um, models making their car look like a GT, but we could get a blue schnoz and make cars look like a first edition again or a premium. Incognito. Yeah, incognito, <laughs> we could do that. Also, Marlene has super sweet stripes on her Maki. We've talked about yes. it. She also had those professionally installed. And I think we would try do that ourselves, but we've talked about it. Should we put stripes on Blue Super Trucifer? We're still thinking. Stripes are a really fun addition. You can get stripes for the hood and for the side of the vehicle, and they look super cool. I really like it. Yeah, I, I like the look, but then I also like keeping everything just exactly as it is, which is one of my hesitations of doing any changes to it. But there are a lot of things that I don't mind changing on the inside. Okay, speaking of the inside, we have some more recommendations. This one is a very cheap and easy little thing, and Marlene actually has this in her Maki. As you can see here, these are the rubber inserts. They, they're a ton. I think they're like 24 of them. So you can put them literally anywhere in the car. There's like in the door jams and the cup holders. Um, I, don't even, I can't even think where all the 24 yeah, go. I don't know. We, we have a set on order that are blue. Yeah. So I can't wait to check those out. I think it'll just keep things a little bit tidy inside. Yeah, and uh, little Mustangs on them. So it's really, really cute. And by the way, the white ones glow in the dark. So obviously they have to be charged up and whatever, and it has to be very dark. But I think that's a sweet little thing. We almost went with white, but we kind of got to go with the whole theme. So that's a really affordable and fun way to give someone a present that's a way to like customize their vehicle without changing anything. A couple other cool things that Marlene has on her car. If you want to change the outside look of your car, she has the spoilers on the little Rear, rear window of the Maki look pretty slick and they have like sort of some straight ones and then ones with like a little point in there. And then they also have, there's several different spoilers that you can get for the Maki on the rear to sort of give it a more aggressive look depending on, I think they have sort of like mild, medium and high aggressiveness levels. Very cool. We haven't gotten to that level yet of thinking if we're gonna add that, but if that's something that you like, um, Definitely looks really cool on Marlene's car. Yeah, and that is not a permanent change because these are stick-on things. You stick them on the window or you stick them on the rear. However, based on Marlene's experience, they are sort of permanent because I don't know how you would get them off. So you stick them on, you're not altering anything, but um, be prepared to commit to that. So it is kind of a big thing. It's a very strong, strong, like adhesive gorilla tape type yeah. thing or gorilla glue or whatever. Yeah. But it, it's on there pretty, pretty good. I don't know how you would get it off without leaving some mark on the paint. So make sure that's the right choice before you do it. Yeah. And it makes sense because it's got to withstand a whole bunch of pressure. So this is kind of a pricier thing and a little more of an install, but it's super, super cool the light up pony. Ta-da! That one came with the vehicle, but you can get one and install it yourself. We have a video on that. Patrick helped out. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the install takes a little bit of work. It takes about two hours, I think, to get it done. You have to be a little bit um, delicate when you're dealing with some of the stuff inside the front nose of the, the Mach-E, but it does look very similar to the one that's on the GT, slightly different, you know, looking at it up close, but from afar, it looks almost identical, I'd say. We did a, a Halloween front or treat and it kept lighting up. And, you know, from across the street, you couldn't tell which was the GT versus the premium that had added the light up pony. I think it looks really slick. Oh, it looks super awesome. I would definitely want to do that. Like if we did not have a GT that did this, I would definitely want to do it. By the way, shout out to Marlene's husband, Les, who was featured in that video. He did the install and let us film him and he didn't even swear, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> even though he cut himself. So. Yeah, he did but cut himself. 
And also a shout out to John who designed this light up pony. He did a Kickstarter and everything. So we've chatted with the guy who made these. It's super cool and he's trying to continually improve them. So he has other products coming out as well. Very, very fun, a little pricier, but such a fun upgrade. Something that you've seen in a lot of our videos is us using car scanner connected to an ODB2 connector in the car. And everybody keeps asking like, which one do you use? And this is the one, I'll sort of show it up here. This plugs in under the dash on, in the Mach-E, right by the driver's knee. And it is a Bluetooth low energy version, which means that it works with uh, iPhone as well as Android phones. And then you run the car scanner app and you can see a bunch of data being reported live by your Mach-E. So it reports like your RPM of your, your motors, the battery temperature, the battery percentage, how fast you're charging. A lot of little data that like data nerds might enjoy seeing, as well as it can also pull like your diagnostic codes so that if you're having any type of issue, you can sort of see the codes before you take it into the dealer. Lots of really cool nerdy stuff. We have another video on the uh, car scanner app and this one is from vpeak it's a uh, v-e-e-p-e-a-k and it's the odb check bluetooth low energy version so it's very cool it's only about uh 25 to 30 bucks it goes on sale a lot so if it's over 30 dollars just wait it'll probably be on sale in a, in a week or two but this one is fantastic works with no problems and then the app is car scanner it's available on android and iphone there's a free version that has some ads. They don't bother me, I've just been using that. And then you can get a pro version that doesn't have ads. The next thing is t-shirts, ta-da! You often see us wearing Maki t-shirts. These are typically things that we've made ourselves. I drew this one, um, I drew these ones. I need to make more and I'm always working on some more. So. If you didn't know, we list our store down below, our stores in every single video. It's at the bottom somewhere. You can hop on Redbubble, TeePublic, Spreadshirt, sure, yeah. some other things. All the links are down there, but they often, often, often are Maki Vlog logo. If you wanna, if you wanna wear our little Maki Vlog, <laughs> that's available as well. Yeah, um, and they often, often have sales. They probably have sales going on right now for the holiday stuff, whatever. You don't just have to get t-shirts. They have mugs, hats, jackets, dresses, whatever. Phone all that cases, stuff. Phone cases. Uh, lots of socks. really cool stuff. Yeah, socks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and lots of stuff. Uh, I like this that is not size dependent. So like I love giving someone a mug or a hat uh, because then you don't have to know like what size t-shirt do they wear or whatever. Uh, so that's something I really like about them. And obviously feel free to shop other people's stuff, but uh, our stuff is on there too. The next item, unfortunately, is on this list because of when we got rare ended. Um, a month after we had OG Blucifer, we ended up getting a uh, dash cam. The, like we wished we had it when we were rear ended, but fortunately we're filming a video because we film stuff. So we wanted to try out a dash cam. We got sent a dash cam by Viofo and we've literally been testing it since seven weeks after we got rear ended, which was when we got the Mach-E yeah. back. We put it in immediately. It's been great, right? It's great. I really like it. There's a lot of different dash cams out there. The thing I like about the VFO, I mean, it basically, good quality. It records from the front camera. There's one that I put in the rear of the Mach-E. Takes a little work to figure out the, the right angle to get it, to get a good view out of the rear of the Mach-E because the, the spoiler and everything. Um, but then it also has a interior dash cam. So like if you have teenagers and you want to make sure they're like not, not on their phone while they are supposedly driving, even at a red light. Um, it, it has that and it records it to a SD card and then you can pull the SD card out and then get all the footage. It has a thing where you can record audio, you can connect and see the live view on your phone as long as you're within like Wi-Fi range of it. Uh, there are options so that you can hardwire it so that it can operate like a Sentry cam. I haven't done that. Uh, and there's ways to add like a battery backup so that you're not drawing from the Maki's 12 volt battery that you can have its own separate battery that you like keep under the seat or somewhere like that. So very cool. I like it. The, co the quality is just top notch. Uh, we've used a couple of clips, a few clips, uh, like in our Mount Evans video and stuff like that. 
uh, from the front camera and the rear camera. The nice thing about it is it's constantly recording and then like deleting the oldest footage unless you just press the little exclamation button on it and then it saves like 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after. It's just right? a 10 minute segment. A, a 10 minute segment around that time. So the, the bit that Patrick's talking about, we saw a mountain goat and we had it running. And we're like, oh my gosh, I pressed it. And then we got all cameras of yeah. the mountain goat and it was really, really cute. The reason I thought of the VOFO is because I was filming Marlene's car and she also has a VOFO in there. Uh -huh. She also likes it. And it's funny because we got it to review. Big thank you to VOFO for sending it to us ages ago. We were going to do the video on it and we never got around to it. But you just, you leave it there and you don't think about it. So that's probably a good sign. And that's what you want from a dash cam. If you do want a dash cam, I'd say I'd recommend these. Yeah. Another and one of our last things that we'll mention, you are probably have seen that we've done multiple charger reviews. Um, people keep sending us chargers to, to check out. It's not necessarily the sexiest of gifts for, for someone, but it's probably the most useful if you have an EV. The car, of course, comes with a, a charger. That's actually what we're using right now because we're in the process of moving. But I've looked at several of them. Uh, it's hard to say which is my favorite. They all have some pros and cons. I really like ChargePoint because their app is top notch. It integrates so that you can see, you know, like you could say like I'm on uh, San Diego Gas and Electric on this plan, and then it'll calculate your charging costs that are you know just from using the, the app and knowing what energy is coming out of the, the charger itself. The others that you sort of have to set what rate you're charging at. So that's a little bit of a drawback. Another favorite of mine is Emporia. It's a local, oh, it's not local. Not anymore. local anymore. Ah. We got to go see them when we were living in Denver and talk to the CEO. They're a great company. They have some home energy management stuff that I think is really slick that we're going to install as soon as we get it all out here that allows you to monitor like what energy is going out of your house. And if you have solar, you can integrate that in to your, your charging setup so that like if you're outputting a lot of uh, energy during the day and you're basically, instead of pumping it back into the grid, you pump it into your car and it's basically free energy for your car. And then if it's a hot day and you want your AC to have priority, you can tell it to like pause charging of the car, let the AC run. So Emporia is great, ChargePoint is great. Um, I think my other favorite was Autel, just looked like a really solid unit. I sent that one to my brother who is getting a Mach-E any day now. So a lot of great chargers out there. We'll put links to all of the reviews so that you can choose which one that you think is, is great for you. I'm really excited about the Emporia one because we are now in Southern California. Electricity is super expensive. We'll probably try to get solar. So I'm really interested in the energy management stuff. And I think yeah. that'll be I think it'd be great because cool. like right now it's really sunny. And it, it, we, we don't have AC here, so it'd be like... <laughs> Go ahead and fill up the car and then if it you know if it's cloudy so this is like the other thing is, is like if a cloud goes overhead and your solar output drops you don't want it to start pulling energy from the grid to charge your car when it's like 60 cents per yeah. kilowatt hour so you could just say like okay if the energy drops below this pause charging until the sun comes back out which is fantastic yeah Last year, we did a video with AOSK stuff. They sent us a bunch of stuff, and some of that was like the organizer for the center console. We've seen other things like that too now. I think they're all by AOSK as well. They make a whole bunch of stuff. Um, some of them were in Marlene's car. Like one of them is this tray that you set on the back of the, the main screen. There's also a tray that you set on the back of the instrument cluster. I don't know if I'd want that myself. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't want something rattling around, but if you are someone who wants to have things handy, I could definitely see like you want a lip balm, but then again, if it's hot, I don't know. But if you want things handy and you want to have little storage things, that could be super useful because you're putting your phone there. I do like the one that's in the armrest center console. Yeah. That one helps like keep things a little bit more organized. And then there's like an area underneath so that if you want to like throw some stuff down in there and keep it out of view gives you a, like a multi-layer of storage. So that's pretty neat. And then they also sell a lockbox. Let me go grab that real quick. So either you could put a tray in your center console and have coins or whatever, or you could put a lockbox. How cool is that? 
It's hard to explain, but basically this is like heavy duty metal. It goes into the center console, has a combination lock, and then you can uh, open it up. And it's not, so, so it doesn't need to be like a full box where every side is metal because it's, you know, deep rooted into the center console. But this is a neat little thing. And I think it's great because like one of the, the cool features of the Mach-E is that you can like lock your key in the car. Um, and then if you, you know, like if you're going to the beach, which we hope to do, mm -hmm. go to the beach, throw your key in the car. You'd... Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, then when you come back, you just use the, the pin code to get in the car and your key is right there. But one of the worries that I have is like, if I leave my key in the car and somebody breaks in, then they actually have a key and they can drive off with the car. They still would, you know, suck that they would break my window. But if this was in there, they probably wouldn't spend the time to try to rip this out because it's securely mounted in there. Um, or just, you know, like if you want to keep like us, like when we're traveling, we have like our GoPros. Hmm. Um, it could be nice to like secure those in the car. You know, just little things like that. Like, or, I still wouldn't want them to break in, but at least they're not, you know, walking away with a $500 camera. Yeah, for sure. Or if you're a Lyft or Uber driver and you want to keep your wallet, cell phone safe, whatever. I don't know how it is driving for Lyft or Uber, but I would imagine there's some dodgy situations. So you might want your wallet safe in case someone's going to jack you or whatever. Uh, <laughs> sure. But this is not... Um, necessarily an item that we're going to use but big thank you to AOSK for sending it to us just because we were really curious and it's like we kind of wanted to see what it felt like so we'll probably do a giveaway um probably local because it's so happy uh but we just really wanted to see if this was sturdy and oh it's spring loaded too so like when you open it it bounces open yeah this is hardy it's very sturdy feeling one little thing, uh, we had a meetup last year in Colorado and it was really muddy and snowy and everything. And when we got to the meetup, you could see the cars that had mud flaps and the cars that didn't, like the wheel well was just all gunked up. So that's another recommendation and a portable one that I have as a gift for someone is mud flaps. Their car will be in much more pristine in an inclement weather. We maybe won't have to do that here. Yeah, but. never raised in Southern California, so we're good, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll visit people on the snow. Another thing, okay, I was so excited to find this. It is a squeegee for your car. Now, where is it? I don't know, because we lost it in the garage somewhere in Colorado days after we bought it. So once we go back there and start moving and everything, I'm sure I will find it and I will soon be brandishing the squeegee, but I was so excited to find this. It's affordable, it's on Amazon, it has the soap in the handle. So when you're on the road, you can clean the windshield and you guys won't have to see bugs in our videos anymore. And you don't have to visit a gas station to get a squeegee yeah. to clean your windshield. You can just carry it in the trunk with your charger or whatever. So pretty, pretty slick. I, I was happy that she found it and then I, I think I was the one that lost it. Might have been. <laughs> Finally, our last gift recommendation is not something you have to buy. You do have to make it though, but who doesn't love a DIY present? So this, if you have access to a 3D printer at home from a nice friend or the library, did you know that libraries have 3D printers sometimes? Mm -hmm. A 3D printed horsey. This was actually made for us by Dustin. He also has a YouTube channel. It's Maki Connection. We'll link it down below. And he actually has a video on how to make this. This is actually made with a, red, a resin 3D printer. So it's a little more complicated and not as common, but you should check out that video. And if you consider doing a little DIY, this is a super great one. Thank you so much to Justin, uh, Justin, Dustin. Look at this thing, it's so awesome. And I was just noticing it's like Blucifer, but not Blucifer, Trucifer, but it's always gonna be Blucifer. It's always Blucifer. Yeah, it's really sweet. Love this thing, love DIY presents. On that note, if there are DIY things or present recommendations that you have, please feel free to leave them down below. If there's anything that we've mentioned that you have experience with <laughs> or that we haven't mentioned that you have experience with, do leave it down below as well because we want to crowdsource all this information. Like we have some experience with products, but maybe you had a bad experience and you want to make sure that everyone knows about it or there's something that you love that you want to tell people about. And we should stop this Patrick is losing his mind. I'm hungry. <laughs> Hungry. Okay, good. a gift of burritos. I will give you a present of burritos. <laughs> Have you ever had a Californian burrito? It's 
got fries in it. It's so weird. Anyways, on that note, thank you so much for joining us for this video. Huge, huge thank you to our patrons listed down below. These guys help support this channel and we are super, super grateful for that. Thank you so much. And just remember that whatever you drive, whether it is stock from the shop or has some sweet accessories on it, enjoy the ride. Bye. Bye. <laughs>